Hello, hi guys, how is everybody today? Welcome to another Facebook Friday, another Freely Cheap Friday. The sun is trying to peek out. It's starting to kind of feel like spring around here, which is awesome, right? Hopefully everybody had a great week. Um, let's see, what's been going on? Always the, the craziness of like the week and then yay, it's Friday, awesome, right? Um, what has been going on? Well, hopefully everybody had a great Mother's Day last Sunday. Um, hi, Brandy, how are you doing? I'm glad you could join us. Um, Let's see. Oh, we got basketball. Back to basketball. We They gave us a break last weekend. Maybe for Mother's Day weekend. I don't know. But we're heading down to Columbus, Ohio uh, later after school gets out today for more basketball tournament uh, action and fun. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird. It feels like we haven't done it in so long. It's only been, <laughs> we only had one weekend off. But anyway, so hopefully things go well with that. And what else? Oh, we had celebration celebration this week. I know finally. It's like wasn't celebration like forever ago and it kind of feels like that, right? Um, but I just was not able to get um, that whole kind of party or event planned um, in April. I normally do it like the end of April and um, that was just crazy with, um, you know, life basically. So um, anyway, we're doing it, um, or we did it this past Wednesday, right? I'm like, where is everybody? I'm trying to see, um, it's kind of funny. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that I went live on the Facebook group, hopefully. I guess I'm gonna keep talking and we'll see. There's Tammy, all right. Yay, welcome, I'm glad you can join us, Miss Tammy. Um, yeah, what else, what else, what else? Oh, um, what was I talking about? Oh, celebration, celebration. Yes, yeah, so if you qualified, um, and there were a bunch of different ways you could qualify back during celebration. Hi, Philomena, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, but if you qualified, um, and you weren't able to come to the event on Wednesday, I made all your make and takes and I had your cute little treat and then everybody got a prize too. Hi, Nikki, yay. Okay, good, everybody's hopping on. I'm sorry, you guys, I know I was a few minutes late. I. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like the world's worst estimator of like time and how how long things are gonna take. And I am not the one that like pads like lots of extra time into <laughs> anything for just in case. So anyway, I think that's probably what's happening is everybody's just hopping on now because um, I know I was a couple minutes late getting going. All of a sudden I realized um, I didn't have my clip to hold the phone so I had to go find that. And then I popped it on and um, it said your connection was weak so I had to fiddle around with that for a minute or two so anyway we're here we're ready to go so yeah but okay so back to if you qualified um, basically and I'm like super proud of myself because I don't normally get this all accomplished um, quite so quickly but I knew being gone this weekend I got everybody's make and takes and their treats and their prize it's all mailed out to everybody so if you qualified for celebration celebration and couldn't attend your prize and goodies are on their way to you so hopefully you'll have those very very soon so and thank you once again. Celebration was awesome. That's always like just such a fun time of year. And now this is another like super fun time of year with the end of the the current annual and occasions catalogs and I'm gonna just put that out there one more time make sure you have everything that you want from the retiring lists I've kind of been keeping an eye on things um, I know I looked at some point yesterday but things are still pretty much available you know there are a, kind of a handful of things that have sold out but it's not quite as crazy as it's been in years past I think because maybe because of the decision that they made to not um, discount any of um, the last chance products things are flying off the shelf quite as quickly as they normally would so just take a flip hey Lori how are you doing take a flip through your catalogs um, you know you can reference there's a whole list um, that I have emailed out to everybody or honestly the easiest way really um, well let me back up the email has the list and it's kind of a good way to do it you it's a big spreadsheet but you can go through page by page and it'll tell you everything you know flip to page 20 and 21 in the occasions catalog and it'll tell you everything that's retiring and so on hey kim how are you um 
So that's a great way to just kind of flip through the catalogs. Just make sure you have everything that you want. Or if you hop on to stampinup.com, there is the last chance product banner. Just click on that when you um, go to shop. And thanks for the share, Philomena. I appreciate that. Um, and then you can look like, you know, they've got pictures of all the products that are retiring. So just make sure, I know I keep saying it, but we've got a couple weeks left. Um, I think it's June 3rd is the last day. I don't even know what the day of the week that is right now. It's, I think it's the middle of a week. So anyway, we got a couple more weeks, um, but make sure you get what you want while you still can. And then the next annual catalog is kind of right around the corner. Hey, Tammy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us today. Um, so yeah, I've got um, I've got a couple of little sneak peeks today. I don't want to show too much because it's kind of I think it's like a huge tease, right? Like you can't get any of these things yet unless you wanted to get the starter kit. Then actually, just so you know that if you buy the starter kit, you can get any of the um, products that we as demonstrators are able to pre-order out of the next annual catalog. You could get those in your starter kit, and then obviously as soon as you get the starter kit, then you're a demonstrator, um, and then you can pre-order any anything that you would like to. Thanks for the share, Tammy. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, like a really fun time of year. I love like new catalog time just because uh, for me, I'm like, I'm ready for that reinvigoration. Although I think I do have to say there are so many things that are retiring that I haven't had a chance to play with as much as I wanted to. So I'm trying to like make the commitment in my mind that like, um, you know, as soon as I can play with the new products and show you guys everything, I want to do as much as I possibly can with them. The problem is not enough time, right? There's not enough time in life to like play with all of these cute products that you want to play with. But I'm, I'm working on a new strategy or a new plan to try to get to play with more things so that I'm not saying, oh, I wish I had, you know, been able to use that stamp set or framelit set or whatever more than I did. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted on that. But I'm hoping to be able to share a little bit more throughout the week with you guys too, things that I've been um, making with new catalog product. Um, so let me see, I gotta check my notes here. Um, oh, well, quick reminder too, so something that is, hmm, some of these things are retiring. The um, Itty Bitty Greetings, let me show you this stamp set, yep. <clears throat> so the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set and classic garage class to go right these are the four cards you'd make two of each of these cards in the class to go i just want to put a quick reminder out there about these um cards uh rsvps are due for this class to go next friday so you've got another week um i've got the link on my blog i've been emailing it if you need the link let me know i've got the paypal links right in um, the email so you can order it super quick simple like you know one click ordering which I know people appreciate so I'd love to get one of these to go kits out for you they're great masculine cards featuring that classic garage designer series paper right and then the itty bitty greetings um, um, stamp set and the cool part about it is you know when you look at these cards and if you're like I if this one says enjoy your retirement I don't need a retirement card well there are 32 different options in the itty bitty greeting stamp set. Hey Sandra, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. And Kim, I'm seeing your message. They, it sounds like you want to get the um, make and takes. Um, so I can get those to you. Um, Miss Debbie, hello, hello. I'm glad you can join us. So class to go, this is what we're doing. The itty bitty greetings and then the clash, classic garage. Um, I'm just providing what you need in terms of designer series paper because the crazy thing is that paper has already sold out. Um, so this is like one way you can still get play with um, some of that uh, designer series paper. You also get um, a package of the faceted dots and if you pick option number one you get some free dimensionals. Um, oh and then you also get a bolt of that the black and silver metallic striped ribbon. So awesome masculine cards. We always need more of those, right? Beth, hello, gorgeous day. She said, good morning. Oh, and happy Mother's Day a little late. Happy Mother's Day to you too. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, hopefully everybody had a great Mother's Day last weekend. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're interested in that classic garage itty bitty greetings class to go. That stamp set is awesome. Like I said, 32 different sentiments. There, you know, there's like a sentiment for just about every occasion all year round. So they're great for whatever you might need these masculine cards for. A couple of different ways to say happy birthday on there and then some other good things. There's a Father's Day, happy Father's Day in there too. So 
let me know if I can get you one of those to-go kits. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully you guys have been enjoying, where's my stamp set here, our product of the week, the Petal Palette stamp set. This was one that um, I've already got my pricing on things there that um, was retiring that I was just really... Um, this is definitely one that is like, God, I have not played with that enough. So I got a chance to, I've got another fun card I'm going to um, share with you guys later on today that I'm going to demonstrate with this Petal Palette stamp set. So if you don't have this one, um, I'll show you the sentiments. And of course they're backwards, but there is the thank you, I just love you, um, best wishes, I can't read them backwards, from the heart. I know that one says congratulations right there. Ooh, for everything. So there's probably like a thank you for everything. And then some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. That one's a nice sentiment, right? And then life is so much better with you in it. And then lots of pretty detail. The birdie and the leaves and the flowers. You can do some coloring if you want. You could emboss. Lots of good options with this stamp set. So I've been having fun sharing projects with you guys. And I'm, I'm here, I'm just uh, scooting this back out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Because <laughs> um, I'm trying to keep it organized over there because it's with the card that I'm going to show you guys in a little while. So, Because otherwise what will happen is I'll fling it somewhere and then when I go to make that card later, I'm going to be freaking out because I don't know where the stamp set is. So, And you don't want me to freak out. I know you don't want that, right? Um, Oh, let's see, let's see. So I think we might as well, let's go ahead and do our first drawing for, this is another retiring product, beautiful, beautiful. Um, what is Tammy, do most demonstrators sell their things? I just can't let go of my stuff. You know, Tammy, that is a completely personal decision um, for myself because um, I use all my, you know, well, there are some things definitely that I have kept that I can't get rid of too, but it's kind of a little handful of things. And honestly, what I find is, you know, because like this year, I'll go through and it'll be, there'll be a few things that I think, oh, I can't get rid of those. And then they'll end up in a little pile in a corner in my craft room somewhere and not get touched like for a year. And then next year I'll look at that pile and say, well, I didn't really use any of that stuff. Um, because for me, honestly, um, I won't use anything retired that I'm going to show in my classes and events because it's like a huge tease, right? Like if I show you that Petal Palette stamp set in July, you can't get it. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, and it's not really good business for me either. If I show you something that you can't buy, like that doesn't do anybody any good, right? So I'd rather show you stuff that you can get. So that's why I get rid of everything. But that's, like I said, a completely personal decision. Um, I do a buy one, get one free sale. I'll tell you guys to mark your calendars. I have this figured out. It is June 26th. It's a Wednesday from 2 to 6 p.m. And then June 28th, um, that's a Friday afternoon from 3 until 6 p.m. Um, so what I do, Tammy, is I go through everything in my craft room. Anything that's retired, I put my prices on them, full catalog price, um, unless it's a bolt of ribbon that half of it's used, then it's half price. Um, but I put all that retired product out and then people can come shop from the retired product and say, for example, if you find $20 in retired product, you can get $20 for free out of the new annual catalog. Or if you find $50 in free product in the um, retired product side, then you can get $50 for free out of the new annual catalog. You do still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new catalog stuff. So it's a great way for me to kind of clean out my craft room and make room for new stuff. So, and hey, Miss Rosemary, you're saying, woohoo, you're up in time. <laughs> oh, four hours of sleep. Ugh, yuck. I don't, good thing you're young, Rosemary. I don't know how you do that. And then you're going to get 20 yards of dirt. <laughs> so then you're going to be out working until it's time to go to work. You crazy, crazy woman. And while I'm speaking of Miss Rosemary, I want to say welcome to the Inkspired Stampers. Rosemary just bought the starter kit, I think maybe on Mother's Day. It was funny because all of a sudden I just happened to look at some reports and I'm like, hey, there's a new name on here. So congratulations, Rosemary. I'm so excited to have you as a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. Um, yeah, so I'll be getting lots of information out to you. I've, um, you, uh, yeah, like I said, it just kind of popped up, and I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get some stuff out to you. So that'll be coming shortly. So watch for email and some cards and things. So welcome, welcome to you. Um, and yeah, good luck with that twenty yards of dirt. So. 
How did I get so sidetracked? So here I was talking about my ribbon. Oh, maybe retiring. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. Back on track. The Coastal Cabana um, with the copper. Oh my gosh. This is like just gorgeous ribbon. So we're giving this away today. Your name went into the little paper pumpkin drawing or yeah, the paper pumpkin bag, right? Not, not paper pumpkin drawing, but the paper pumpkin bag to draw. If you commented last week on, on Facebook Live, anytime you comment, you're gonna get one entry for your comment. Um, if you share the Facebook Live video, you get three entries into the drawing. Um, if you're new to me and you sign up for my email list, you get another three entries in the drawing. And then my random day was Wednesday. I picked, I drew Wednesday, if you guys can see that, if I tilt it just right. Um, Wednesday, so just a couple days ago on Wednesday, if I posted um, anything that I posted, if you commented or shared, you got three entries in the drawing, or if you posted a project on Wednesday, you got three entries. So lots and lots of good ways to get your name in the drawing to win the Coastal Cabana and Copper. I think it's that it's any of those ribbons that have like that kind of metallic like shiny edge on them um, I just love those things okay shaking this around oh I always forget to bring my little tub too to uh, get rid of these names so I can do the next drawing and I'm looking around like where can I dump <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna dump them in the chair behind me okay so back to this drawing now all right one lucky winner okay I've got one Oh, Miss Vina! Miss Vina Gomez is the winner of this beautiful ribbon. So, Vina, I will get the ribbon sent out to you. Congratulations! All right, here I am. I'm going to dump those things right there. You guys can't see those, hopefully, right? I don't think you. I'm trying to see the view. <laughs> I don't think you can see those. So, that's good. So, all right, you guys want to know what we're going to give away this week? This is another bolt of, this is a very vanilla, um, what are they called, lace, I was going to say linen, but that's not right, a lace strip, and you can't really see that very well. I happen to have a little strip of it, actually we'll turn it that way, there, because you can see a little bit better, but it's just beautiful, really nice, soft, dainty, now this I won't be able to tie, but it does tie very, very nicely um, in a bow or whatever you want to do with it, so it's beautiful ribbon. So. Your name's gonna go in here. If you comment and share, one entry for comments, three, entry, three entries for sharing. Um, I, I added something new though. Um, if you tag a friend um, in a comment, um, you know, on the Facebook Live, your name's gonna go in here three times as well. So tag a friend, tell them about Facebook Live. Obviously sharing gets you the three entries and then that random day too if you comment or share. So just comment and share and post pictures and hopefully that random day that I pick is the one that you did the most commenting and sharing and posting and your name will get three more entries in here for all of those. So, and then if you sign up for my email list. So that's what we'll draw for next week is that beautiful, um, very vanilla lace trim, okay? All right, oops, there's one more still in there. I gotta make sure those are all emptied out so I can be ready for the next drawing. Should we do that? I think we might as well. So, <clears throat> okay, the next drawing is, if you put it in an online order of at least $30 last week, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win a sampler, and this is like all the paper that I have left this uh, left of this everything is rosy product sweet. <laughs> so you're gonna get a sampler of this. So you're gonna get a number of sheets of the designer series paper, the die cuts, and then the rose gold foil paper. You're also gonna get, I'm gonna send you this whole thing of the rose gold shimmer paint. And then I've got a couple more bolts of the ribbons. So you're gonna get full bolts of the ribbon too, along with the, um, and these are kind of just stuck in here, but these are those rose gold mirrored adhesive backed embellishments. That's like a huge mouthful. Um, but anyway, they're really, really cute. So you're gonna get those as well. So awesome sampler of all of the consumables basically um, from that everything is rosy product medley. That's what you are going to win when I put the names in the drawing, which where are the names now? Uh-oh. Okay, they're here. I know they are. <laughs> what did I, I just had them? Oh, I already put, <laughs> okay, shoo, I already put them in there. 
Um, oh, what are you, Tammy? Yes. Oh, you ordered a second one. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I did too. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I, w I wanted more of the paper. Um, I guess it was mainly the paper that I was worried I was going to run out of. So, because I'm going to show you guys some more fun stuff that I've made with that. So, and it is still available too. Just so you guys know that everything is Rosie product medley. You can still order it. It's eighty dollars, which I know that sounds like a lot at first, but then when you see everything that you get with it, you get the stamp set, you get the framelits, you get the full pack of designer series paper, you get the rose gold foil paper, you get the um, the rose gold die cuts and the floral die cuts and two bolts of ribbon and then the shimmer paint so it's just like a ton of fabulous stuff that you can get in that everything is rosy product medley it's totally worth it and you're gonna see about a million ideas I'm already seeing a, about a million ideas on Pinterest and YouTube already with all of that product so and just don't forget it's only available in May it's not in the new annual catalog so you're gonna want to order it as soon as you can but like I said it is still available they keep saying you know wow well, supplies last but I, I think they gotta I mean you know, we've made it this far. I don't know. I guess it's only what the 17th, but we've made it 17 days in May and it hasn't sold out yet. So don't wait too much longer just in case. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. So let's do that drawing. So I had a couple of online orders. Hi, Darlene. How are you doing? So names are in, um, this little paper pumpkin, um, bag, whatever thing you want to call it. So I'm tossing these around. Not nearly as many entries in here. So order up ladies and you will get your name in here too. Plus you're going to get the projects that I demonstrated last week. And if you ordered over $50, Ooh, I should mention that too. So, cause I really want to get you guys new embellishments out of the new annual catalog and we're super limited as far as what we can pre-order. So if you put in an online order of at least $50 anytime in May, I am going to get you those products, but the problem is I can't order, you know, if I want to order 10 or 20 of them, I can't do that until June 4th. So as, on June 4th, I'm going to put my order in and I'll get all of those free embellishments for everybody. And then it takes about a week for them to get to me. So it's going to be a little bit like probably mid June before I'll be able to mail those out. So just hang tight, have patience. I'm, I decided I'm sending the cards cause I want to get, um, you know, cards sent out to everybody. So I'll send the cards. And if you're the winner of this drawing, I'll send you the stuff and then I'll get you your free embellishment um, as soon as I can in June so just know that but I thought that I want to get you guys new stuff I know everybody wants new stuff too so anyway that's the deal with that I was I've been trying to like decide am I gonna just hold on to everything but that was like I can't do that I don't want you guys to wait too long to get your other stuff so free cards and if you're the winner it comes out right away and then the free embellishment will be mid-June which is what I advertise anyway but I like to try to do it sooner than that so okay back to the drawing so who is going to win the sampler of the everything is rosy product medley and okay let me make sure all right i've just got one in here also oh miss angeline miss angeline apsy if i can er, if i get that tilted in there just right then you can see it so it's not too it's a little bit sunny but not so sunny we're gonna have a big glare today so angeline i will get you that sampler of all of this um, everything is rosy, beautiful rose gold accent um, sampler. I'll get that sent out to you. So, Miss a Angeline, congratulations. You're going to love this stuff. It is beautiful, gorgeous product. So, okay. Oh, OMG. Are you guys ready for this? I've been like... Okay, so I, I was able to order some new stuff with the pre-order as demonstrators that we could do. And so I'm like, okay, I've got some fun things planned for you guys for the next couple of weeks in these drawings. So, and you guys, maybe you've seen, you know, some demonstrators, um, especially ones that are online, do a lot more of sharing of um, new catalog product before you can even order it. Um, I tend to not do that because I can't really use it in classes. So I don't know if you guys have seen this stamp set yet or not, but we are going to be giving away. This is the very super brand new. This is the free as a bird stamp set. So um, lots of, and birds are like always so popular. And these are, these are like cute chubby little birds too. I think they're, <laughs> I just, I like, like they're like super like round bellies, right? And then there are some great sentiments. So this one up here says, we're the best of friends. And it's got that beautiful kind of cursive font in there. There is a hello and a thanks for being you. And then a little cursive thank you right there. And then, 
oh, this is good. The world needs more of you. Did you get that too, Tammy, the bundle? Yes, and I'm gonna show you guys. I do have another sneak peek. So this stamp set comes with like a label framelit set, which I'm gonna be super honest, was one of the main reasons. I was like, I gotta get those labels and I might as well get the stamp set too. And then I ordered an extra one um, so that I could share it with you guys. Um, okay, so but I'm gonna show you the labels that you can um, get in the bundle. I'm gonna show you those in a little bit. On the card, I'm gonna demonstrate. Okay, so then the last sentiment says, your friendship means the world to me. So you can see that, right? It's beautiful, isn't it, Darlene? So Darlene, as a demonstrator, you can pre-order this right now, just so you know, we can pre-order. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but as a demonstrator, we can pre-order out of the next annual catalog. Um, so check out the demonstrator website and see if there's anything you can't live without sooner than later, right? Yes, oh yeah, and the colors in the DSP, they are awesome aren't they the bird ballad I think it is yeah um, and then um, look at all the like the pretty flowers so I think they're beautiful just stamped or if you want to pull out your stamp and blends you can color the birds and the flowers and the leaves in oh you're on it huh <laughs> Darlene that's cute yeah so super awesome stamp set you will get your name in the drawing to win um, this stamp set, if you put at least a $30 order in online, it's funny, I've got people walking by and I'm like, oh, because <laughs> it looks like I'm just like looking out the window talking to myself. <laughs> so I had to duck for a second because people are going to be like, who's she talking to in there? <laughs> it's so funny to think about how, like if somebody walked up to the door, what they would be like, what is she doing, right? Um, okay, sorry, that was just had a moment there. Okay, so yeah, name goes in the drawing. Place at least a $30 online order between now and next Friday. You're gonna get your chance to win the free as a bird stamp set. You're also gonna get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes. And if you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get a new catalog embellishment. Like I said, I'll be sending those out mid-June when I can order a big slew of them, okay? Um, all right, you guys know me on my notes. I've got to just do a quick double check and make sure that I have told you guys about everything. And I'm trying to chitter chatter while I talk, which is nearly impossible for me to do that. Um, but I think we are good. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to flip the camera down. Right, right, <laughs> sorry, I'm like all loopy loopy today. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. I am gonna flip the camera down. I'm gonna show you a couple more things and then we're gonna do our stamping, ladies. Okay, so bear with me one sec while we fly over here to this table. And hopefully we're good. Okay, flip it down. Okay, there we go. So. Quick reminder, this is the host code we're using for uh, May, we're not in June yet, for May, UMM7H63Q. So just make sure to use that host code and that's how I'll know to put your name in the drawing for the free as a bird stamp set and then you'll get the projects that we're going to demonstrate. Um, but in the meantime, I want to show you guys, and I think I did kind of show you, so this is more of the Everything is Rosy product medley. So these are some cute little slider treats. And I think I said last week, I'm gonna do a YouTube video. Well, I did my YouTube video. So go go over onto YouTube, just search Gathering Ink with a K, Gathering Inspiration, and you'll find the YouTube video on how to make these super cute, simple, easy, quick, fun little slider treats. And I think I mentioned, um, these are like a little, so these are little Debbie cakes. <laughs> <laughs> which I haven't really, I was laughing because um, somebody, I gave these as club member treats and Lori, if you're still listening, she was so funny because she sent me a message later and she's like, oh my goodness, that treat was so good. Where did you get those? And she thought that like I went to the cute little like bakery downtown that they had made them and I was like, oh, you're gonna really, you're gonna die when I tell you. Those are like the little Debbie snack cakes that I used to eat in like seventh grade. <laughs> that's what are in there so those are just really handy little treats um you know because that you get a bunch of them and they're pre kind of packaged so they stay fresh for everybody too so anyway those were like a mother's day 
like a strawberry and I still have seen them in the store so you know they'll probably be heading out but there are other ones that are shaped that same size too that you can get so these are just a great treat you just pick your designer series paper add some embellishments so for whatever kind of occasion you have and then it's really a lot about the ribbon too that's why I had to use um, that beautiful my absolute favorite that night of navy with the rose gold accents so this is all product from that everything is rosy sweet that is still available so make sure you get that while you still can and then I want oh so yeah and I apologize if you haven't been to club yet this is what you're gonna get <laughs> as your club member treat so sorry I should have prefaced that with like don't pay attention to this part if you're a club member and you don't want to have this have the surprise be spoiled and then I guess I should say that ooh, about these two <laughs> I know Lori you're cracking up but they were so good yeah that's how I feel too let me just tell you there might have been an extra box that had to be bought to like um, accommodate everyone's treats because Lily and I <laughs> kind of enjoyed those things while we were putting the treats together I'll say um, okay so so these treats here I already kind of showed them but these are um, the treats that I gave everybody at Celebration Celebration. So if you don't want to have your surprise spoiled, I guess maybe turn your heads away for another sec um, because those packages are coming to you and they include these cute little treat packages. And people, of course, were asking me, did you make those treats? And I was like, um, no, because then somebody flipped it on its side and somewhere saw the little Kit Kat <laughs> label on it, I think. I guess I can kind of see it right there. So these are just super cute, teeny tiny little Kit Kat bite size white chocolate and then milk chocolate. So, hey, Sally, how are you doing? And I love, so it just kind of um, displays some more of that Everything is Rosie Designer Series paper, along with that cute ruched, the Melon Mambo ruched ribbon, that cute little leaf. If you guys can see, I'll get up close there. That fun, actually, that one's not die cut as well. So let's show you this one instead. This one's a little bit better. <laughs> I'm going to blame that on Lily. She helped me die cut all these things. That's okay. She's a huge helper, and I appreciate everything she does. So, um, But yeah, there's a cute little leaf that's in that Everything is Rosie stamp set, and then the die, and then this great sentiment. Can you guys read that? Let me make sure I've got it up there close. Time to celebrate all the lovely things in life, starting with you. So I thought that was a great little sentiment to put on a treat to give everybody that earned their spot at Celebration Celebration. So, and then these are just some of, those are the layering oval frameless, just the scallop edge and then the stitched shape oval framelit. So super simple. I was explaining, and I guess I should have pulled that out, but this is basically a three by six piece of designer series paper. So out of one piece of designer series paper, just cut it in half at three inches, and then I scored it across the top at one and three quarter inches, and then just folded it down. So there's the one and three quarter inches, and there's the rest of it along the back. And these are just our little three by six cello bags. So this is another super cute, simple, you guys kind of get that theme, right? That's what I'm all about, super cute, super simple. Um, but just a fun little treat. Um, and again, just you can make these for whatever occasion you might need a little treat. You know, they're great to just put like at a table setting on a plate, you know, however you want to do that. But they're or just hand out to people too. Um, so do you just pick your designer series paper kind of depending on what your theme is for your party or your event that you want to make these little treats for. Find a, a nice sentiment, something that you'd like to say to someone, right? And then add a little ribbon and um, a little bit of fun to it. So super simple, simple, cute, easy. But I love, you guys are kind of getting the idea at how much fun I'm having. This is kind of a good example, right? I have to switch that over there because I can't have those things too close to each other since they're the same pattern. <laughs> I'm like way too anal about that. Um, but this is a good example of what I'm trying to spend more time with, like one group of products and really get to play a lot with them. So I have done that. And I just, you guys, I can't tell you how much you're going to love if you're able to get the Everything is Rosie product, Bedley. You are going to absolutely love it. So, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. We are ready to do our stamping. Right, so I'm gonna keep that guy right there. Oh, everybody's out on a walk. It's, yay, it's finally like we're able to do that around here in Michigan. Okay, so guys, 
<laughs> I hope you're ready. I've got one more project to share with you. One more Everything is Rosy project. And then I promise, I'll, I think, well, like I said, maybe I shouldn't even promise. I don't know. Because like I said, I'm having so much fun with this. So this is actually one of the make and takes that we made at the Celebration Celebration event um, this past week. So this is one of the cards that you'll receive in the mail as well um, when you get your little package from me. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these things out. So once again, though, this is the Everything is Rosy stamp set with those great sentiments. So let's just review one more time, just in case you haven't seen it yet. You've got, may your birthday be filled with pretty things, dear friend, and there's that one I used on those little treats, time to celebrate all the lovely things in life, starting with you. There's a congratulations. Don't let worry spoil your happy and thank you. And then all of these beautiful floral and leaf images that of course are cut out with our Everything is Rosy Thinlets, okay? And then this is my sneak peek. This is the set of framelits that you will be able to get as a bundle. So the free as a bird stamp set that I'm giving away with that online order this week, these are the framelits that are part of the bundle. So if you don't win this stamp set, wait and on june 4th you can order the free as a bird stamp set and what are these things called these are called the stitched nested labels dies and i've got the one that i'm going to use right there and then these are all of the other sizes and then i haven't used this yet a little stitching edge i'm curious to see what that's going to do for us i got to put that on a paper and run it through and see what happens i think Maybe we'll have to do that. If I think of it, we'll do that while we're doing this card. But they've got a bunch of different, so they're like nesting, you know, so you can kind of layer them. So this is going to be a beautiful new um, die cut set. Stamp and cut and emboss is what they're, stamp and cut and emboss dies is what we're calling these now because of the whole, you know, the thing with retiring the big shot and that's there's like a whole trademark thing. So we have to kind of change the wording um, on our product because I'm sure it's patent or something. So anyway, um, but yeah, so love these, but don't be too upset. You gotta wait a couple weeks before you can order them. And let's see, <laughs> I've got some, yeah, some comments. Kim saying that you love the framelits and Sally's ready to get that stamp set. I know, so much, so many cute things. Love, love playing with the new products, right? Okay, so let's get our stamps out here. Um, okay. I think I'm going to give you dimensions because I always kind of get off to the races and think I'm going to forget to do that. So let me tell you about dimensions. So for example, this is our Melon Mambo card base. Can you guys see? So along the eight and a half or yep, eight and a half inch side, I cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, I scored it at five and a half inches, okay? To make our... Beautiful crisp fold on our card. All right, I'm gonna tuck that guy right up there and maybe put that right there so I remember what I'm doing. Okay, then we have a couple of pieces of designer series paper. This strip measures two inches by four and a quarter inches. And this is just a really nice kind of subtle stripe. And then it was funny because at class or at the celebration celebration, people were like, oh, I really, don't want to put adhesive on that side I, and to show that, like they kind of really wanted to show that. And maybe somebody did. I don't know. I didn't see them. Um, I think it, this works better for me, but you never know. It's your own card, so you can do whatever you like when you're at class. Um, and then we have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that measures three and a half by four and a half inches. And then a piece of the beautiful Everything is Rosy designer series paper with some fun background there too. Love all those rose gold shimmery accents, right? This piece measures three inches by three inches, okay? So let's do our stamping so we can do our cutting. So I have my little congratulations stamp with my Knight of Navy ink. And nice, easy. You guys can see that, right? Tap, tap, tap. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm going to press straight down and lift straight up. Oh, look it. You guys, isn't that so cute? I love the little curly cues. Just so sweet that font is, I think. Okay, so we are going to need to... <laughs> I need to stamp. <laughs> it's funny, I was like, ooh, I did bring another piece of 
um, Whisper White cardstock. Yes, Philomena, isn't that, the, the designer paper is gorgeous. So this is, um, what color is this? I think this is powder pink. Where's my label? Yeah, this is powder pink ink. So one of them that's retiring. I think you could use Blushing Bride would be another good choice. They look pretty similar. So we're just gonna stamp our little flower there. All right, now we're gonna grab the big shot and we're gonna do some die cutting. So for kicks, I wanna check out, oh yeah, I'm gonna have enough room too, okay. Um, we're gonna put that there and that there. Okay, so with our new, what did we say these were called? The nested labels dies. We are gonna put this little baby right there, okay? And then I wanna know what this thing does. So we're gonna just, we're gonna add this little piece on right here. Oops, there's adhesive. There, let's get that off. Okay. I have no idea what this, it might just, um, I don't know. We'll see if it cuts or embosses, maybe it does both. I'm not really sure, but we are gonna find out. And then where are my other, here we go. The Everything is Rosy Framelits. <clears throat> We're gonna use this little baby right here is what we need for our flower. And this is one, Lily helped me cut these two. She was like, mom, I don't think it fits on here right. And it's definitely one, and I got lucky right there, but it's one you have to just kind of keep flipping around and around till you, eventually you get it there. And oh yeah, that makes sense. Now it looks like it works perfectly. But for a moment, you're not so sure <laughs> if you're ever gonna flip to the right one. So sorry, I know there's a wiggle. I probably didn't need to go back and forth, but we are now. I definitely need to go back and forth with the next one, all the little spriggy leafy pieces. Okay, so, so this is another one of those where it, it um, embosses, I guess I would say, that the stitching on kind of the negative piece. So you could use this almost like a frame too. Whoo, I'm already, wheels are turning. And then here is the new framelit uh, die, I guess. We're not supposed to call them framelits any longer. I don't know, it's gonna take me a while to get that. Um, but that with the little stitching around there, um, the little embossing, super duper cute, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's pop our little flower. We're good with that guy. And then let's see, what did this do? Oh, all right. So it just um, puts a little stitching. I don't know what, oh, that's like a previous. So can you guys see? That just adds a little, yep, just like a little stitching edge along there. That's kind of cool, right? It looks, you, it could almost be like a little bookshelf or something. It's kind of how, almost looks like um, woodworking. Cool, okay, good, so now we know what that one does. All right, so put that on your wish list. You can order that on June 4th. Okay, let me scoot these things out of the way. Now I want to die cut, I need to use this little, I have used this so many times, but I just love it. Okay, so with our rose gold foil paper, part of the everything is rosy. Well, most of this stuff is part of that suite. No, not sweet, it's a product medley. Okay, sorry, we're gonna go back and forth a couple of times, so bear with me if it's shaking a little bit. And I find that that helps me if I go back and forth a few times. So that's gonna pop right out of there. And that's even cool, isn't it? You could do something fun to snip that off and you could do something fun with that negative image also. Okay, let's scoot this guy out of the way. And I need my... Um, Big shot die brush too. So let's, and what I found was if I kind of ran over this a little bit, it tended to kind of pop up enough. And I do have my paper piercing tool, which maybe I'll just grab it because, you know, on the live, it's not gonna work nearly as well. Seriously, I did not have any trouble at all pulling these out. I just gotta get one little bit. And the kind of neat part is, just don't pull too hard and you can get all of that pulled right out. Nice and easy. Okay, all right, we're gonna scoot this over here. I'm gonna need that again, I think. We're gonna keep that, because I'm gonna need that too. All right, um, let's see. I think we're ready to put things together now, ladies. So let's do that. Adhesive is right here in front of my face. Okay, 
yeah, this is what everybody had a hard time putting adhesive on this beautiful pink. It's kind of kind of maybe flirty flamingo on that side too. Lots of different colors that you could use. And so let's see, we're gonna put that kind of right about in the middle across there, right? Then we are gonna add some adhesive on this guy. Oh, I love this paper. This is probably my favorite pattern. I think I used almost all of two packs of <laughs> that paper. <laughs> I tried to save a little bit for the winner of the product sampler so that they could get some of that too. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna put that right there and I've got some adhesive. I gotta get that off of there. That always drives me crazy. I went a little, a little nuts with my adhesive adding there. Okay, now we are gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this little baby right here and we're going to pop our congratulations on our card okay oops so we're going to add that oh i love i love the oh the pinks and the blues that must be my thing okay so now with this little spriggy piece i just want to add a little bit of adhesive and i like to use this because then i don't get adhesive all over my work paper and i just kind of wanted to tuck this back in behind there a little bit and I'm going to press that down. Then I've got my little flower and I want to grab just one of the little the mini dimensionals and I was wanting there we go okay so I just kind of put it on one side right there and then I put a little bit of adhesive because I'm going to kind of put it I'll show you what I mean so I've got the pop-up dimensional over on this side and then some adhesive to kind of stick it to my label. I don't like when things are like different heights. I don't know if that makes sense, but I like it to all be the same height in terms of the dimensionals. So I don't want to pop it up too much, right? And then I've got one of my little, so you can see I've used all but two of these things. I know Beth, I love that rose, the rose gold foil too. And so these are the little um, mirrored adhesive backed embellishments. I was trying to see if the little cover was on. I don't think it is. That looks pretty shiny. Yep, I must have. There's like a little cover. You can kind of see on this one because it's not quite as shiny. You can peel that little cover off. Maybe so it didn't get scratched or something. But there we go. So look at so simple. You guys, I'm loving like the simple but with all the beautiful detail already included right there on your um, designer series paper. So this is the one of the projects that you will receive if you put an online order in of at least $30 and use that host code this week, okay? All right, so let me show you the next project. But in the meantime, I gotta clean up just a moment here or I get super confused about what is going on. Okay, and I'm actually gonna use my chamois so have you guys been using your chamois? I'm gonna kinda, ooh. <laughs> That's making a lot of noise. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, using that silicone sheet with the flower. Yeah, that really helps to not get adhesive all over the place, Sally. Oops, let's see. Let me get that, there we go. All right, so that's all clean and ready for the next project, right? Okay, here we go, here we go. Are we good? I think I'm pretty good. Are you guys good? I hope everybody's good today. Okay, so the next card we have is, are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. So check this card out. So I found, I cased the layout of this. I changed things up a little bit, but there is a gal named Anne and, and her last name is S. C-H-A-C-H, -H, and I'm honestly not sure how you pronounce it, but you can look her up at stampinchic.com. So S-T-A-M-P-I-N-C-H-I-C.com. She was the one that originally designed this card quite a while ago, probably back when the first, um, the, the bundle came out in, I think it was like last year's occasions catalog, the stamp set and framelits or thinlets first came out, but I loved, I changed because I had to use, I'm, you know, I'm loving this rose gold foil paper, so I had to use rose gold foil paper there instead. I'm going to show you the fun trick that I learned um, to stamp 
these birds because you've got there's only this is going to make make sense maybe when I show you right there is the stamp that comes in the stamp set but there's not another bird that faces the other way so I'm going to show you guys it was so cool I love doing this um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that kind of create like a mirror image or you know facing each other kind of a thing so I think I showed you guys this right the beautiful stamp set petal palette it's retiring but you still um, if you order before next Friday it's guaranteed to be available so if you don't have it yet I would definitely scoop this one up okay and then the framelits too the petals and more thinlets can you guys see there's an awesome label I always love these things right because you can use them for lots of different projects and then um, a number of these will die cut uh, let's see can I can I lay that right there is that gonna stay so this one is gonna be die cut by this and then these little guys um, are gonna cut it looks like those well here <laughs> I can't do it with both hands this one is gonna cut that and that one is gonna cut that guy right there and then some other detail right and we're using another these couple I'll pull these out in a sec that'll make more sense when we're actually doing our stamping so okay let me pull these things out we also use the stitched shape framelits for our sentiment there okay and this is another set of um, embossing folders these are the petal pair embossing folders and this is a beautiful set that I oh, this is definitely one that I'm like why did I not use this more before it retired or is retiring so you can still get these though these are still available if you don't have them yet and there's the other half of that stamp set along with more rose gold foil paper because you can never have too much of that okay and then I use some black memento ink on this project all right we've got our stamps so we're all ready to go there okay so let's see okay I'm gonna show you the trick first because I thought this was such a good idea okay um where's my ink or my my paper that's what I want first all right I gotta make sure I don't use the wrong things for the wrong parts all right so we're gonna stamp all right let's do our quick stamping on this one first so this is our sentiment the some things are just meant to be like the two of you together and I thought this is the time of year when lots of weddings happen. This may be upside down. Nope, it's not. Okay, good. Um, so I was thinking, oh, I need, I'm sure I'm going to need wedding cards or have requests for wedding cards. So that's why I thought that sentiment would be good on this card. Okay, so this is my birdie that I'm going to stamp the way he comes, right? So then this is the trick for the other. Now, um, she had suggested using um, like a clear plastic piece. Um, and I kind of looked around my craft room and couldn't really find anything. So I just went with, this is, and this isn't the exact one, but this is the idea. This is just one of those plastic um, sheets that may, may cover like your rhinestones or any of your embellishments. So this didn't work too bad because um, what she said actually was that she used the plastic sheet from her stamp -a jig that of course I've already put mine down at the stamp studio on my buy one get one free sale um, So it wasn't quick and handy. So I decided I tried this and it worked pretty well So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna ink this up and you're just gonna stamp and just be careful not to wiggle because it it's not quite as precise and you'll see but so stamp it right on that little clear plastic and then just lay it down and basically the little clear plastic almost acts as if a stamp as if it's a stamp and you just kind of press around there and pick up the ink ha isn't that cool so it's not quite as precise but that's that's why this is a great stamp to do this with because even this one's not super precise it's kind of got that watercolor look and so does he but check that out that's pretty good huh don't you think so you can see I tried that a couple of times I've got a couple of birdies right on there um, and then so the only thing of course I realized was my framelit is only facing this way so I had to fussy cut with my paper snips the one going the other way which I happened to do that already so you guys wouldn't have to uh, watch me use my paper snips but it's very easy to do that too so okay oh I think Tammy says she's going somewhere she's got to go to the doctor oh, oh oh my goodness what are you saying I hope everything is okay 
I'm going to have, oh, oh, yeah, you're not feeling so great, are you, Tammy? Okay, we'll feel better. Hopefully everything, is, you're on the mend soon. Yeah, and enjoy, well, enjoy putting your order in once you get back from things. So, yeah. Okay. All right, what else? So we're going to die cut this one and this one. And, oh, let's do our, well, we can do our embossing too. Ooh, and our other die cutting. We've got lots of good stuff to do here. That's right. Okay. So I, I need to get the big shot. That's what I need to do now because we've got to do some of that stuff. All right. So here we go. Let me scoot that over a little bit. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my birdie that I've already cut. All right. So you guys can see that, right? Okay. And let's see. I'm going to snip this other guy off here. Okay. So we've got that one and that one. And we will come back and do the others next. Okay. <laughs> I'm like totally talking to myself. No, we don't. What do we need here? Oh, I see. I've got three of them in here. So these I just kind of all put back in here. So we're going to use the birdie. And then we're going to come back and do these two detailed pieces on our rose gold foil in just a sec. So we also need the stitched shape framelits. This is the second largest circle from the stitched shape framelits. And I don't know if I put that on there right, but that's certainly not in the right place. So we're gonna move him. Little birdie. So birdies are it, right ladies? I guess, cause we're all watching, you know, spring has sprung pretty much everywhere, right? So birds are out and chirping. Everyone's ready to be outside and enjoy summertime. Okay, so we've got that guy. We've got our little birdie right there. And now we're gonna do our die cutting on our rose gold foil paper. And let's see, I was thinking I could get this. If not, I've got that other sheet, but I was thinking I could put these on here. So this paper is kind of at a premium because you get eight sheets, which is a lot, but I've used a lot too. Eight sheets of the rose gold, it's six by six foil paper in that everything is rosy. See, I can't stop using it, you guys. <laughs> that everything is rosy product medley. And if I haven't said before, if you order that um, everything is rosy product medley through me, you will automatically get three projects that I've made with the everything is rosy product medley um, as my thank you to you for ordering that through me. So make sure you do that while you still can. All right, so I'm gonna get my Big Shot die brush out for both of these. And this one was actually kind of fun. I was kind of tapping it. And you see, most of them, minus that one little baby right there, came out really well. So we'll use um, we'll use the die brush. I'm trying to see if I need, I think I need this piece. Sorry, I'm trying to get all these little rose gold pieces off of here because I'm gonna use this piece to do our embossing there. Okay, so I need the regular platform. I'm gonna put that right there. And then this piece is gonna go on our card and we're gonna use this embossing folder. So there are the two different ones. This one is that one right there. And then there's another one that does a little bit more viney look. Both really, really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna just put this kind of up toward the top a little bit, if you can see that, right? And then we are gonna run this embossing folder through. And I think then we are done with our die cutting. Okay, so this is what happened to me before. Originally I was thinking um, that this would go on the top, but then you see it kind of buckled my paper a little bit. So I went, oh, well, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna put that down there and then our other pieces are gonna cover that up. And that looks a little bit more intact up there. So just kind of know that, that it does, it does maybe kind of rumple up the paper just a little bit. There's probably a trick for that that I don't know yet um, that might help with that. So if anybody knows, feel free to share. Okay, so I think we can start putting things together. Oh, you know what? I didn't tell you guys about dimensions. So let's do that real quick. So this is a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. Okay. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> I did notice that when I um, put all my stuff together in that little bin, I put this card right on top of that little plastic 
<laughs> sheet that had the birds stamped on it and they kind of got on the back of my card but that's going to be all right so just forget about that right so we've got our eight and a half by 11 this is thick whisper white cardstock so we cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it at four and a quarter inches okay and then we have what else do we have we have a piece of basic black cardstock that measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter. Um, and then the whisper white piece that we embossed was three by four inches, okay? And then everything else is just pieces that we have to stamp on, just scraps and die cut and so on. So you don't really need measurements for any of those other guys. So we're gonna layer this piece right on here, okay? And then I'm gonna add some more adhesive. I'm gonna pop him. I add more adhesive when I have more than one layer of cardstock that I'm trying to add to a card, right? And I wanted to put that down at the bottom. So there we go. So we're gonna kind of try to get that evenly spaced around all. And that looks good. Okay, next. What do we need? I know we're gonna put some dimensionals. We're not gonna do those quite yet because you know I'm a little bit anal about putting the dimensionals where I want them there, but we can put the dimensionals on the back of our sentiment. And where are those dies? What did I do with them, you guys? <laughs> My rose gold dies. Um, okay. I feel like I am going, oh, here they are. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't find them because I was looking for rose gold and they're still in the dies. So they're on my, <laughs> my gosh. Okay, they're on the little foam pad with my die brush. So there, okay, so cool. How about that? Popped right out. Just shimmy that around with your Big Shot die brush a couple of times. And isn't that, are you guys going to be able to see? Can you see the detail? Isn't that beautiful? Love that one, right? And then the little leafy guy, and this one's gonna pop right out too. Just carefully kind of roll that out of there. More rose gold foil beauty ness, right? Beautiful ness, they're all not words, I know that, but I'm trying to make my point at how amazing they all are <laughs> by making up words about how fabulous they are. Okay. Sorry, I'm like getting a little, I'm getting a little loopy, ladies. Is anybody else loopy today? I think I'm just so excited it's Friday. <laughs> Fridays are always good. Okay, so we are going to add, so again, I'm using um, my little rubber silicone craft mat. Oops, and just sometimes you have to kind of hold things down. And I kind of, I kind of liked that these were not tacked down on the card. So I didn't put adhesive up there, but let's, we're gonna go with this one. And we are gonna put this baby, maybe right about there. And then just press firmly. And that works so well. The adhesive doesn't stick to my mat and it only gets where I need it on my die. Next, we are going to grab this piece and we are going to lay that maybe right about there. And I'm just going to tack that down. Like I was saying, I didn't put adhesive behind that because I kind of liked having that pop up a little bit. Okay. And then we are going to peel the backs off the dimensionals here. Nikki, thank you so much for sharing the projects that you made with this um, uh, bundle. I keep wanting to say sweet, but it's not a sweet, but the bundle. That was awesome. I love you sharing those things with us. Um, so much beautiful goodness that can be created. Okay, so I just put a couple of little mini dimensionals back there hoping that, because I don't want that to go on there, I want it to go over there, if that makes sense, because I don't want, I don't like things popping up too much. That's what I was trying to say before and I didn't think I explained it very well. So again, um, I put the dimensional over on the side so it's gonna go down here, not up there as I kind of add it to things, right? So one last step and we are done. I just added a couple of little rhinestones to the card, just to add a little more fun and bling, right? 
And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? So a great wedding card is all I could think. This is the time of year. Everybody needs wedding cards, right? So, okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed those cards today, ladies. So quick recap, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, you are going to get both of these projects that I demonstrated. If you put at least a $30 order online by next Wednesday, Make sure you use the host code, the UMM7H63Q. Your name also goes in the drawing to win the awesome new free as a bird. You cannot order this unless you're a demonstrator stamp set. You will be getting this early before many other people can, right? And then if you bump your order up to $50, you're going to get a new embellishment out of the new annual catalog. You get that free as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all were inspired today. I hope you get to get outside and enjoy, well for me anyway, in Michigan, the beautiful sun for a moment. I think we're not supposed to have a great weekend, I guess. But anyway, that's okay. We can stay inside and play with all of our fun goodies um, and bring sunshine into our lives inside if we need to, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Bye guys. Thank you. Thank you.